Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to use a Rhino 7 Subdi tool to quickly do three different sketch for the chair idea and hopefully that will help you on your design process. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are three quick uh, sketch chair right here. They basically are the same, but it's really easy for her to do the variation in the sub D. So that's starting from the scratch. So I'm going to coming into uh, the right now you can do it on any of the view. We are going to use those sub D tool and the sub D tool that we're going to use first is the sub D box. On the top, you can changing X, Y, Z number. And let me show you what that is. If you draw any of the box like this in the sub D, uh, my X, Y, Z is five by five by five. So you can see five faces here on the X, Y, and the Z. And that's how you get this box. I always like to have my object right in the middle. So we're going to use the command for align centers on my top view. And I'm going to snapping into the zero. Once we're starting from the zero, and then we can start editing. Now in the sub D, you do have the tab key on your keyboard. If you press it and you are turning into the box view, right? Sometimes it's easier for us to see it. So let's go ahead to stay with the box view. And we just need to have a basic shape of the chair. So we don't need a whole box. Coming over here on the top, you have a sub D filter. Then we want to choose the face. So let's go ahead to choose those face right there. And maybe I want to keep it. The, the arm is a little bit higher and we want to delete those. So then let's give us a box there. And then we actually don't need this line right there. So let me delete even more. I'm going to go into the wireframe and we're simply going to delete those box as well. And we need to have an opening there. So let's go ahead to the front view and we want to select those boxes, holding the shift and click on those faces. And let's go ahead to delete it. So now we have this basic shape. If we use the tap key one more time to tap it and you can get it back like this. Okay. Now we want to do the simple editing. I'm going to come in over here and choose all the faces that I have and use the rotate command and rotate it a little bit like this. So now it's a little bit tilted there. And again, this is for the quick sketch. So I do not uh, have a dimension in mind. I don't even know what size this is, but just want to show you how to make it. Now in this chair, um, I like to have it symmetrical and it's hard for me to edit like right side and the left side. So right here on your sub D tool, you have a, something's called reflect. For this reflect command, we'll ask you like uh, which sub D you wanted to pick and then we'll pick on this sub D and then we want to have a Y axis, which is this green line as our axis. So we want to click on Y. Next, we're going to ask you which side you wanted to keep. So I'm going to click on the right side of the Y axis and hit enter. You're going to see one size darker line, one, uh, one size a lighter color. So now we have this, it means anything we do on the right side, it will be um, reflect to the other side. So let's give it a try. I'm going to pick up all the point right there and we're going to pick up those point. And maybe I want to be in the wireframe is easier for me to pick the point. So I want to pick up those points as well. All right. For all this point, I'm going to come into the uh, front view and I want them to be open a little bit. So I'm going to select this, open it. And as you can see, the left side will go with it. So now I have an opening arm right there. We can take a look on the ghost view again. And if you tap, uh, use the tap key and you can bring this back. All right. So you kind of play around to get um, the shape that you like. Maybe they need to be more of this shape like this. So it won't be all like this is a kink there. And then you can keep editing until you find things you like. You can also um, pick up the point like this. Like this can go a little bit higher. And pick up all of this. This can be even higher. So then you will get a little bit more rounded there. If you take a look on the um, box mode, you're going to see something like this. Now I notice this might be a little bit kinky kink over there. So maybe I want to move this out a little bit and this out a little bit, something like that. 
Let's look at the, the smooth mode one more time with the tab key. So we get something like that. All right. And then you can keep editing until that you find the shape that you like. Maybe you want to have a certain part is a little bit taller, for example, like this. And then you can keep changing until you satisfy. So I'm going to keep it like this and giving a thickness. Now it's only like a paper thing, right? So we wanted to give it a thickness so we can print it out or we can assign a material. So we want to offset this sub D. It's going to ask you which one I'm going to click on this one. And it's going to ask you like the distance on the top. So on the top right here, I'm going to change maybe like eight kind of eyeball it for whatever thickness that is. And I want a solid. I do not want to have a both sides it's similar like that you are doing the offset in the rhino nerve surface. Okay. And then we want to click OK. Then we'll get something like that. Notice that this is really harsh edges there. Nobody want to sit in the chair like this. It's really uncomfortable. So right here we have a remove crease command and it's going to ask you like what age. So we want to pick up the age that we wanted to remove and pretty much this is everything because it's a hard edge right now. And then we hit enter. Now we'll get something really rounded. Now, this is the fun part. How do we going to get it like a lot of a different type of a sketch? Uh, first of all, you can pick up either the face or the curve or the point. Let's say I'm going to pick up these faces and I actually want them to come out a little bit more. And maybe I want them to tilt it a little bit more. So we'll get something like this. Maybe I wanted to pick up these faces and because this is uh, almost like a symmetrical the reflect that we have there. So we can kind of play with it um, to, to make it into a very interesting form. All right. So now it's the cushion in the middle. Now, if I want to pick up the cushion, then I may want to pick up the faces, for example, those faces. And then I wanted to extrude them out something like this. Right. So really quickly, we already got that cushion and you can make the cushion like just make them a little bit bigger like this and you can make them hard edge if you want to. Right. So this is a really fun part for us to to keep tweaking. Now, if you feel like the handle, I want them to be more pointed. You can actually do like pick up those faces and you can like uh, 1D scale it down. So then they will be thinner like this. So it's a lot of things that you can play with. All right. At the end, we just need a fee over there. So I simply just going to use the command in the Rhino and we have something called truncate cone. And basically I'm going to do something look like this. All right. And I'm going to tilt it into the angle that I like putting into here and try to move it into the right angle as well. And we got something like this. All right. And double check if it is too tall. Uh, if it, it does, you can trim it off. We also need to make sure this is actually flat to the ground. So I'm going to use this curve and we simply going to trim the leg off, right? And then we can simply just cap, cap it and use the cap command CAP and always like to make them a little bit rounder. So we want to use the fit edges. Um, we want to fit it for maybe one is fine as long as it's just a little bit rounded. So that will be one of the arm and I'm going to mirror to the other side by typing zero. And now I want to pick up both of them and again mirror to the other side. Okay, so now if you are looking for the combination or the different type of sketch. Now what you can do, if you like this and you no longer wanted to change it, you can coming back here and the reflect, we want to cancel it. So you just right click on the reflect and uh, pick up the sub D and right here on the top, remove in six existing reflex symmetry. Then we'll have something like this, right? Simply just making another copy right there. And for this one, we can say, all right, actually I wanted to have them flat on the top. So let's go, go ahead to pick up all the point right there and using the gumball type it zero so we can make it flat like this. All right. And then uh, maybe here on the right here, we want to make it wider. I don't know. Um, just wanted to show you, you can play with it really simply. Just the edges 
the faces and also the point and those are the things that you can keep at it if you feel like okay maybe right in the middle right here i need to have something bump up more like a pillow so we can use this one uh, for the age and kind of bump it this one up a little bit so that way you have a pillow over there and again you can change the feet you can change the arm you can change a lot of things and this is the quick way to do a quick sketch very organic shape for this example as a chair i do have a course it's really detailed to talk about all the command about the rhino 7 sub d if you're interested about the course please check out on my website there's a curriculum in there there's a lot of course detail in there thank you for watching and i hope to see you next